So um, for 45A, it's um, showing us a figure uh, and it's asking us if it's rotated about the x-axis to use the midpoint rule with n equal to 4 uh, to estimate the volume of the solid. So for the midpoint rule, um, we're going to first divide it into 4 bits. So if we divide it into 2, that would be half and then half. So that one, um, yeah, so this gives us four sections, right? And then we're going to estimate the height based on these, uh, these four sections. So right in the middle, it'll, it'll cut here at three. Uh, so this height here is three. So this height here is three and the base is two. Um, for the, the second one, we're going to have here, let's see, it's going to be about here, um, maybe that's what, 3.7, and then we are going to extend it like so. So this is 2, and I'm going to say that this is 3.7 um, about, yeah. So for the next one, we are going to have... Um, this height is going to be about here. Uh, maybe that's 2.2 over here. That's roughly 2.2 and base 2. And lastly, we're going to have um, one that's over here. And maybe that's that seems like 1.5. And that is uh, 1.5. All right, so we have taken the midpoint of each, uh, of each section, and we have used that to evaluate the height. And now what we want to do is we want to rotate each of these segments around the x-axis. So um, when we rotate about the x-axis, for example, in this one yet in yellow, we're going to end up with a, uh, with a cylinder of this kind, right? Um, and we're going to have a bunch of these, we're going to have a bunch of these cylinders and the one thing that they have in common is that the height for each one is two, because that's we've divided it into four equal parts. Um, so when we rotate it, we're going to have a cylinder whose base has the area pi r squared. So for the first one, that base is uh, pi times r squared times uh, three squared. For the second one, uh, and a height of two, for the second one, it has a base of pi times 3.7 squared and a height of 2. Um, for the third one, it has a... For the third one, it has a base of uh, pi times 2.2 squared and a height of 2. And lastly, for the one in orange, it has a base of... Uh, like this, pi times 1.5 squared times 2. So uh, let's sum up the area of all these. Let me put that in my calculator. So let's see, it's 1.5 squared um, plus 2.2 squared plus 3.7 squared plus 3 squared. Um, and that gave me approximately, so for A, it gave me approximately 29.78 pi or let me put that or approximately 93.56 uh, cubic units now you may have gotten a slightly different answer because I did uh, estimate it visually it was pretty hard to tell um, but yeah, this was this was my estimation about uh, ninety three point point five six cubic units. Let me see if I um, if I missed. Oh, I think I did, I forgot to multiply by two. I did. Uh, let me try that again. Three point seven squared plus two point two squared plus one point five squared, and then oh yeah, I forgot to multiply by two. So actually, if I multiply by two, because I just multiplied it by pi. It's actually going to be uh, approximately 187.1 cubic units. And once more, you may get something that is slightly different. Uh, but all I did here was I divided it into four chunks where I estimated it visually. 
and then I, um, I revolved it about the x-axis. So that's it for um, item A. Now let's do item B. So we're once more using the midpoint rule with n is equal to 4, right? So we leave it the way that it is. But now instead of revolving about the line, um, uh, the x-axis, we're going to revolve about the y-axis. It's going to go like this. Uh, so what is going to change? Well, what is going to change is we're going to have these, um, these washers, right? So for the first one, it's basically we're having, um, if we are revolving like so, we are going to have a, it's going to look like this, and it's going to have a hole drilled into it, right? Um, so let's think about how to calculate it, because when we revolve it, we're doing uh, first the outer radius minus the inner radius. So the outer radius here, um, the outer radius goes from, let me choose a different color, the outer radius goes all the way from 0 to 4. So it would go from 0 all the way out to 4, right? Um, so our base here would be, it would be pi times 4 squared times the height, uh, that height is 1.5, and then minus the smaller one. So the smaller one, it would go from, that radius would go from 0 all the way to 2, uh, so this one will be 0 here to 2, minus pi times 2 squared times um, that height, times 1.5. So that's of the first section. Maybe I should have drawn that with the correct color. So um, let me add this up. Actually, maybe I'll add them up later. So this is the first one. Now let's do the second one. In this case, for the second one, um, oops. The, let's see, the smallest radius, sorry, the bigger radius goes from 0 all the way now out to 6, right? So for the second one, it would be pi times 6 squared times the height of this one, which is now 2.2. And then we have to subtract the smaller radius from it. In this case, the smallest radius goes from 0 all the way out to, to 4, yeah. So minus pi times... Um, 4 squared times uh, 2.2. For the third one, the biggest radius goes from 0 all the way out to 8. So it goes pi times 8 squared times that height now is 3.7. And then minus pi times the smaller one, which goes from 0 all the way out now to 6, right? Um, so pi times 6 squared times, and that height is 3.7. And then um, for the last one, let me erase these. For the last one, the biggest radius goes from 0 all the way out to 10. So that volume, we have pi times 10 squared, um, and that height is now 3. Minus the smallest radius, radius, which goes from 0 all the way out to 8, right? So minus pi times 8 squared times 3. Um, so all we have to do here now is to sum these up. So it'll be kind of a lengthy calculation, but we can do it. Let's see. Uh, minus, so that's 4 squared times 1.5. And then minus, um, minus 4 times 1.5. And then plus 36 times 2.2. Um, minus 16 times 2.2. And then plus... 64 times 3.7 um, minus 36 times 3.7 and then plus 100 times 3 minus 64 times 3 and all of this times pi. So let me just double check my math and see what I got. So I got, I got approximately 859 cubic cubic units. Uh, let me just double check. Let me just double check my math. Um, yeah, that seems, that does seem correct. So we are good here. And that is it for the volume.